Meet Gavin Lambert. He's a typical nine-year-old boy living in Tampa who's in third grade, loves sports, and he happens to be a huge fan of the Florida Gators. Play football, play soccer. I like to ride my bike. That's about it. However, Gavin is not like most nine-year-old boys, and it started when he was just five years old. We just saw that there was something off in the way he ran. Um, he was just always falling and clumsy and just something wasn't right. On January 13th, 2011, Gavin was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia, or FA. It's a neuromuscular degenerative disease that eventually um, robs them of the ability to walk or talk or hear. Um, it affects the heart, does many different things to the body, diabetes, scoliosis, the list is endless. Gavin certainly hasn't let the diagnosis stop him. He enjoys playing soccer and football, and he has even participated in two triathlons. Um, I just like that you can do lots of stuff in like the same thing. Everything that we ever see that, you know, has a medal involved or some kind of award, he wants to do it because he just, he loves, you know, that recognition at the end that, you know, he did it and he finished. In June, Gavin was honored at the Tampa Bay Sports Commission's annual Sneaker Soiree event. And that's how some Gators learned about this special fan. After a few members of the Florida Marketing and Promotions Department saw Gavin's story, they knew they had to get involved. So, on August 30th, when Florida was scheduled to face Idaho in the season opener, little Gavin Lambert was the honorary captain for the Gators. The Lamberts arrived a few hours before kickoff, and when Gavin walked into Florida's locker room, there was something special waiting for him. Well, he walked into the locker room and he was just amazed. And then I told him, I said, come here, I want to show you something. And um, I go, this is really special. So he walked over and there was this jersey hanging with his name on it. And he looked at his mom and he goes, wow. Gavin has always wanted to be a football player. Always. And to walk into that locker room, and see a jersey with his name on it. Like a real football player. It was something I know. It may never happen, probably will never happen. But for that one moment, it felt real. In his new orange and blue Florida jersey with Lambert printed on the back, Gavin and his family were able to experience a game day like no one else. Hi. How you doing, bud? Good. Hanging in there? Yeah. All right, man, you looking good in orange and blue today. Yeah. Fired up for the Gator game? Yeah. Well, this game. I guess I got to meet some of the players, and I got to walk across the field. I watched him walk across the field behind the team after Gator Walk, and he got to the goal post and he just did the hands up in the air, you know, like touchdown. I think it was just one of those moments you see that he's really enjoying this experience and getting motivated and whatever it is, is excited about the game, excited about meeting the guys and being around the guys, I think it was really cool. Watching him, the excitement that was coming from him and from his family was just overwhelming. Gavin's story. His fight, his courage, his energy are reminders to everyone he meets that at the end of the day, life isn't measured by the amount of medals or championships. It's about living every day to its fullest. A lot of times I think people as athletes take for granted the opportunities that you get and then you see somebody like Gavin who you know wants to do it and gives his all. And a lot of times as you, you play sometimes, you may have a little pinky toe hurt or something hurt in you and you say I don't know if I can go and then you see somebody who's giving it their all and wants to give their all and 
and it's just it's, it makes you it makes you grateful for the opportunities that you do have. You know, we come here every day to work, and you walk around and you take for granted everything that you have here. And when they get here, the wow factor, you know, that they have, when, and it's just it's just immeasurable to to see what they are feeling. And I love this opportunity. He is our little rock star. He just goes with it. He does what he needs to do. He never ever gives up. He just. He puts a smile on everyone's face that he meets. At the end of the night, Gavin was unfortunately not able to see the Gators play. But the memories made that day in the swamp will not be forgotten anytime soon by the Lambert family nor the UF family. Something so horrible should, should make us upset and sad and bring us down. But Seeing Gavin light up in these situations just makes something horrible turn into something so positive. Our whole purpose is to help create a memory or a moment and take that day of pain away from them and hoping that they come down there and it's all about them. It's, you know, the excitement and being here at the swamp and but the reality of it is that we're, we're really creating a moment for ourselves because they bring to us more than what we give to them. For Gator Vision, I'm Shelby Granath.